Hi Aqua, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is gonna be for anybody with Aquarius placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and you switch the roles. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't fit for your situation, guys. Thank you all so much for your love, your support, and your donations, Aqua. Sending you a lot of love and light and happiness to you on your journeys. Anything you guys need to know about me is gonna be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages that are on here and on any other social media platforms, okay? So let's see, Aquarius. Let's tap in. Let's see what's going on with you folks. All right. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm Aqua and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones, return it back to the sender. And block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Aquas. And protect me as I channel the messages for Aquarius. So let's see, Aqua, what's going on? Okay, that one wanted to do a dance, so. So we have hype here. Talks about it, but doesn't be about it. Liar. Talks a big game, but does not follow through. Big flirt and player mentality. Okay, so somebody is using their gift of gab here for something. We have competitive. Thinks they are too good for others. Has a need. For others to compete for their love and affection makes others play a competitive game of love. A child, please. What else? <laughs> we have stoic. Appears cold-hearted but has deep emotions and feelings. Afraid to show how they feel. Runs away to protect themselves. Then we have lethal weapon. This just came off of Aries. You could be dealing with an Aries. It says a deadly combination, double the trouble. Triggers each other, explosive arguments, makeups to breakups to make up cycle. Okay, bottom of the deck is isolation. Prefers to be alone in order to protect from getting hurt. Does not take risk. Overthinks and overanalyzes without action. Two-faced on the other side of the stoic card. It says pretends in order to lead others on untrustworthy insincere playing a game with others emotion strings others along in com competition feels inferior to the competition doesn't feel as good enough as others feels unworthy of others love and dedication somebody here got you in competition with somebody man whoever this is though they make things so fucking hard it's like why don't you just speak up and say how the fuck you feel i feel like somebody's doing that shit on purpose to make people mad Somebody is not saying how the fuck they feel about somebody or they are and is pissing someone off. Somebody feels like you're a competition. It's like, bitch, there is no competition. I don't really understand why you bitches be fighting with air. It's like you're competing with yourself or you need to compete with your damn self because competing with other people is clearly not getting you bitches nowhere. You keep letting a man try to make you chase them. I feel like somebody here views you as a challenge Aquarius. They view you like, oh, well, you think you this, you think you that. I'm going to get you to chase me by getting other bitches to like be in the middle. And it's like, bitch, nobody is doing that shit. Y'all tripping. And if you are, you need to stop. It's <laughs> like, stop. It's like somebody got a big ass ego. What's up? Uh... Well, this could be a woman doing this to a man. Flip the rose. What's hype here? I'm hearing don't believe the hype. Yeah, what's hype? <laughs> the two of swords in the reverse. Libra moon. What's hype here with the two of swords in the reverse? So, three of wands. Somebody is hoping that if they flip out or that if they act an ass, somebody will come back to them. I feel like, bitch, you're just going to be draining yourself. Okay, it's like a baby or a child that's like crying or you're trying to get it to go to sleep and they end up tiring themselves out and go to sleep. <laughs> like they end up doing it. It's like somebody needs to shut up. <laughs> Whoever this is in this energy. Someone could be an Aries sun. Yeah, we got a Libra moon. So a decision, I feel like something has been revealed and a decision has already been made. Somebody's already moving forward. Three of Wands is like a sense of foresight, um, growth, and expansion. Somebody could even be moving to a new location, okay? But I feel like somebody's waiting for someone to respond to the fact that they're in this mental and emotional anguish or turmoil with the Two of Swords in the reverse. Um, This could talk about two...
somebody here is deciding to sit and wait. You know what I'm saying? Like they're waiting for you to say something because I'm getting, because the two of swords sometimes talks about like how somebody is just refusing to make a decision. So they just sit here. This is like a, a another version of it already in the upright with us like being at a stalemate. Someone here, I feel like somebody has decided possibly on something, but they're waiting for you to decide or they're waiting for you to, it's like, no, no. I feel like a decision has already been made on your end and you're moving on. Now somebody's in, in this energy of just like, I don't know what they in, but. Somebody's like. Yeah, the page of wands, page of pentacles, three of swords. No. <laughs> Somebody's like waiting for you to reach out. What's the two of swords in the reverse? 202 on the clock. The Hierophants and the Magician. Virgo, Gemini energy. Yeah, Taurus. So I feel like a decision, like I said, has already been made on your end or flip the rose, guys, if you're, this is somebody else. The, the magician with the hierophant, I feel like you've already learned how to take your power back from shit like this. Like, you didn't already learn the lesson. I feel like you're not conforming to what the fuck this bitch is telling you to do or whatever. I feel like you're conforming to whatever this is that you're, that spirit is telling your ass to do. Okay. I feel like you've taken your power back. You have mental clarity about something. About where to go, how to move, basically. Some of you guys have already manifested a new contract or something maybe new has come in. But I feel like your desires are made clear to you. Like, you know exactly what you want. You have a lot of mental clarity, a lot of focus. Um, your psychic abilities also could be heightening or increasing. So it's just like, whatever the shit is, it's not working. I feel like you got values, morals, respect, dignity. Okay, you take pride in getting the fuck from motherfuckers that feel like they supposed to like you supposed to feed their ego no you're not somebody here could be studying magic or like occult knowledge or something What's the three of wands? Yeah, the eight of swords. What's three of wands, eight of swords? The fool, yeah, that's you, Aquarius. Or you can have Aquarius, yeah, again, you. You can have Aquarius somewhere in your chart if you're watching for your like a different sun sign. You don't have to be Aquarius sun, but obviously most of y'all are, so... There's a lot of information too that's coming out at this time. This could be like information overload. <laughs> like you could be getting a lot of information. I feel like somebody lets fear, anxiety, or worries really stop them from moving forward. Like dead ass. Someone here just self-sabotages all the time. They say they're going to take a leap of faith or there's a new beginning, but then they go get scared and they stop moving or going towards something that they need to be going towards. I don't know what's wrong with this person. <laughs> like I'm serious, but... I mean, it could be a disorder, maybe. I don't know. But the eight of, eight of swords is like stuck, trapped, feeling silent. Somebody here feels silence or they can't speak up. What's the eight of swords? Okay, yeah, the nine of pentacles. You could intimidate someone. Okay, I feel like you intimidate somebody or something. Somebody else is stuck while you're free. Nine of pentacles is like self-made energy. You're very bossy. Or like, not, not bossy like that, but you could be a boss here. You could be a successful business owner very wealthy you could have some sort of status or i don't know but you you're enjoying the fruits of your labor so i feel like you set yourself free from whatever this is and you're moving on somebody else they can they keep stopping going stopping going it kind of like feels like let's see eight of swords with the nine of pentacles we got virgo venus the sun yeah i feel like you're so happy <laughs> The Nine of Pentacles with the Sun. That's complete freedom. This is like freedom here. <clears throat> I feel like 
you don't got time for that shit. You, you just don't. Somebody here could be pregnant. So congrats, Nine of Pentacles with the sun. Or you're pregnant with a new business idea. I feel like you're just so happy. This is like a lot of vitality, confidence, okay, and success. You're victorious or you're celebrating or whatever. But somebody, somebody waiting on you to say something. I feel like they're going to be waiting forever because somebody is tripping. What's, um... What's competitive? Yeah, the devil. <laughs> Capricorn energy. You could be on the cusp, Aquarius. What's competitive here? Somebody's like stuck on you or they think that you're going. It's a fuck no. <laughs> like, yeah, the devil and the nine of swords in the reverse. So. <laughs> Gemini Mars here. So somebody here could be being haunted or they're in really deep, deep regret about something because I'm definitely not getting somebody seeing a light at the end of the tunnel. Now, it could be that your anxiety or something here that plagued your mind for, for a while, I feel like you are, it's not there no more. Okay, somebody here wants to stay attached to you in some sort of way, so they got to put other people in the mix or it's something like that. Somebody is just karmic as fuck. They're really toxic and demonic. Okay, somebody's just operating off their shadow side. So, what's the devil? It's like somebody is like stuck because they like, wow, you're really, yeah, the nine of cups. What's the devil with the nine of cups here? Somebody, someone could be very materialistic or very sexual. Yeah, somebody is obsessed with your come up here too, Aquarius. You can have Earth in your chart. Don't have to. Don't have to have it in your chart, but. The Nine of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this is you. You definitely, you guys could be saying nine, nine, nine. I feel like you could definitely be hitting the big time here. Some of y'all are saying in a public eye or you're coming into a lot of wealth and prosperity and abundance, especially with your work. I feel like you're grounded, you're stable, you're secure in who you are. You know yourself completely and wholeheartedly. Very resourceful, very welcoming. Somebody here that's toxic wants you to open up to them or wants you to give them shit. They're greedy as fuck. They want to keep living off you or something like that. It's a fuck no. That's what I, I don't understand these kind of like people. I really don't. I really don't. <clears throat> some of y'all could be definitely getting engaged or definitely getting ready to have a baby soon. For some of you, that's not for everybody. So just take it how it resonates. Okay. Because a motherfuckers be like, well, some of us say, okay, well, just don't take it. <laughs> like, shit. So. Some of y'all are awakening are awakening to your purpose as a high priestess. Okay, this is a lot of inner harmony, happiness, peace, joy. Um, this could be like a faded connection that's coming in too. Some of y'all definitely getting ready to start a family, but I feel like this is wholeness, completion. With the judgment and the high priestess, you could have been a high priestess like in the past life. Something is being renewed within you. Um in your subconscious or some sort of karma from a past life is being cleared out so that way you can experience whatever this ten of cups is somebody here wanted you to stay in the nine of cups or wanted you to they wanted to keep leeching off of your energy it's like no somebody here yeah they didn't want you to have love or something like that yeah king of cups knight of cups of temperance yeah whoever this is right here it could be a scorpio sagittarius or a pisces this person is um an earth angel they have a lot of healing energy like you do here you could definitely be a healer a white witch Okay, with the Queen of Pentacles. So, yeah, the Page of Cups, the World, the Death card, and the Five of Swords. Somebody needs to get a life. What's this Nine of Swords in the reverse? The Chariot. What's Nine of Swords in the reverse with the Chariot? Cancer and the Seven of Swords. The Moon, the Queen of Swords. <laughs> Someone could have a, a Aquarius Moon. Some of you guys are being overly cautious about something. You could be cautious, like about moving forward, moving on. 
but I feel like it's because somebody's in your energy making you feel like that. Like somebody is a monitoring like spirit. They 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 make you feel like their presence is around when it's not. Like they're really irrelevant. It's kind of like like somebody's like following you. Every time you level up, you feel this presence or this energy around you all the damn time. Okay, it's like somebody wants you to be haunted by the memory of them. They want you to keep thinking about them over and over again. Every move that you make, they want they want you to take in, into consideration about how they feel. But it's like, bitch, first of all, it don't even look, it feels like this person is around or you want anything to do with their ass. You didn't already broke free. You get what I'm saying? Like, somebody here just wants to be relevant in your life. I feel like you can feel their energy. You're very discerning or you're very, like, this, uh, intuitive. You're very intelligent. You're very smart. Like... Somebody here could be stealing cars and shit, 2, 12, 1 o'clock, or they're trying to steal a car. The Seven of Swords, I feel like you could be kind of like making moves in silence, possibly. Somebody's like, yes, the Seven of Cups, Five of Swords, they like to play mind games. They're trying to be relevant. It's like, bitch, you're definitely irrelevant. The, the Chariot talks about like willpower, drive, determination, overcoming obstacles. Yeah, what's the, let me see, what's the Seven of Swords? Some of you guys, yeah, the Queen of Swords, I mean, Queen of Wands. What's Seven of Swords, Queen of Wands? Yeah, the Ten of Wands. Sagittarius, Saturn, yeah, the Ten of Swords, the Death card, the Tower. Yeah, somebody here, whoever this is. Somebody here is using gossip or slander to try to end something in your life or whatever. It's backfiring. Or this is some sort of hex. It's magic. It feels like magic, kind of. Okay. You could have a masculine in your energy, too, that's very powerful, very protective over you. That this person just can't seem to wrap their head around the fact that you got somebody like that in your life. Someone is still obsessed with you. This is the problem. Okay. But someone is like looking at you because they getting ready to go through a tower or they, they, they're they going through one. Somebody's trying to figure out if you're going through one. I feel like you're stable as fuck. You're fine. This person here is looking at you like, well, what happened? I thought something, I thought whatever I did was going to work. It didn't. The information that somebody's receiving or getting about you or whatever, they stalking ass, watching you and shit like that. They're shocked that something is not working. It's like the divine intervened and came in to block some shit out. Like somebody here really thought they was going to bind themselves or hex or curse you or whatever this is. It's not working. <laughs> it's not working. Somebody is so fucking weak, but. Somebody here does a lot behind your back. I feel like they definitely playing your energy a lot, but they act like they're not. Same shit I got for Aries. Like they're just a loser. Okay, they really are. I feel like every time someone, too, if you're having sex with this person, every time you have sex with them, you feel drained afterwards or just, like, really fatigued. Okay? But I feel like somebody is now feeling this energy because you took your power back. The Queen of Wands is you standing up for yourself. You're feeling passionate. Like I said, vitality, uh, passion, creativity is on point. Okay? You could be, like, an artist or... I don't know. I feel like you're just very unique and you very you own your uniqueness, okay? And somebody here just feels like they're going to keep trying to steal energy or keep doing whatever the fuck they're doing. No. Somebody normally gets some sort of release off your energy. This could be like sexual. Yeah, pleasure, nine of cups with the devil. Somebody here is obsessed with your energy. They gain abundance or some sort of like whatever off your energy. Like dead ass. What's the... What's the Ten of Wands right here? Yeah, the, the Two of Pentacles. What's Ten of Wands, Two of Pentacles? Some of y'all have a lot on your plate. There's a need for you to kind of like get outside, do something fun, travel. Okay, what's the Ten of Wands with the Two of Pentacles? Yeah, the King of Swords. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, somebody's confused about how you're still moving forward or how you're progressing, how everything is balanced out, how you're still getting this damn Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, whatever it is. Okay. Some of y'all need to balance your work and play and things like that. But yeah, this King of Swords, I feel like that's Archangel Michael stepping in to bring you clarity about something or to block something out. 
okay or you have somebody in the spirit or they out here in the 3d i don't know they're protecting you this is somebody with integrity self-respect morals um they take pride in being a, a a trusted leader i feel like they have integrity yeah i think i said integrity so big on honesty whoever this is or this this king of swords could be a masculine here that's setting certain boundaries with maybe a queen of wands Somebody could be doing like beauty magic on you. They're wearing some sort of glamour. It's kind of like what I'm getting. They're obsessed with your energy. Like it's real weird. What's uh who this Queen of Wands specifically, Spirit? Give me more on this Queen of Wands. Is this bitch toxic or what the fuck? What's the Queen of Wands? The Tower. What's Queen of Wands with the Tower? Something. Yeah, the Page of Cups. I feel like, honestly, you kind of like came up in secret Aquarius. Like you did something in silence. Like you didn't say a word to somebody. Someone here kept acting nonchalant or did, and, and they could have been juggling you on some more shit. And I just feel like you decided to release it and take your power back. And I feel like what's shocking is that once you did that, there was a, another offer that came in or something like that. Somebody here too could be cheating. They're juggling and they're pregnant. Somebody's like pregnant for some of you is what I'm hearing. Or some of y'all getting ready to find out you're pregnant. I don't know. Somebody here could have been juggling two men and now they're sitting up here pregnant and trying to like run away from the consequences or hide the fact that they're pregnant by someone else or something. Somebody could have gotten like DNA test results back and it's not their child and some more shit. But I feel like um, the page of cups is like something that barely got off the ground. This is like something that's being idolized. It's not really going nowhere. Yeah, whoever this is, it's just like, child, what's the chariot? What's the chariot? Somebody here plays too many fucking games, and then they be lying about who the fuck they having sex with or whatever this is. Somebody could also have something. That's what I'm saying. This person, hell no. Nah. What's somebody's addicted to the sex with you, or they just mm, what's this chariot? feel like they got these bitches playing around in your energy too because they want to be like you or they want to turn this masculine on like how you turn them on type thing uh, yeah the queen of swords the lovers the three swords and the ten of swords mm. i feel like you ask somebody you ask they ask are you having sex with somebody else or are you still connected to so-and-so and they fucking probably lied or they told you half truths and I feel like you use your discernment. So you left this shit alone. I feel like you're cutting somebody off and now you could be in a union or you're balanced within your energy and somebody else is heartbroken or I feel like you told somebody about a specific lover and they didn't fucking listen. A third party here got in the way, some sort of gossip slander or, or magic got in the way of something and ended something completely. It's just like you're over it. What's the chariot? <laughs> the chariot is... um. Yeah, the seven of wands. And somebody's just blocked. That's it. They're blocked. I feel like you're standing up for yourself or whatever. You're being very strict about what the fuck it is that you're going to do and what you're not going to tolerate and shit like that. Like, somebody got like an addiction. They got a problem. Somebody is, I want childish as hell. What's stoic? Yeah, that's his damn king of swords. That could be you, Aquarius. This could be an Aquarius man doing this shit. Some of y'all, there is a proposal here coming or you, you're getting married or something like that. Like somebody know this shit coming to, they could feel it. They like trying to get you back, like, no, no, no. Or oh, this is a third party on their end trying to like compete with you. It's just like, bitch, I'm moving on to a new relationship. What the fuck you fighting for, ho? What's the stoic? Like, you can go get the man. Like, I gave him back to you, bitch. Get him. What the fuck? <laughs> Four of Swords, Libra, Jupiter. Like, anybody even take his clown ass in the first place or vice versa. It's like, they came over here willingly. 
like they always do. I don't know, in my case, they did. <clears throat> okay, I got a man now, so it don't matter. But I'm just saying, like, in my case, they always came over here willingly to try to run away from these hoes. And it's just like, bitch, yeah. You're not going to be placed second option to no damn body. You're the damn empress. And that's just period. So, four swords, Libra, Jupiter. What's stoic with the four swords? <laughs> Uh, this kind of sound like Scorpio reading I did last night. Two, two, two on the clock. So we got Virgo energy. Appears cold hearted, but has deep emotions and feelings. Afraid to show how they feel. Runs away to protect themselves. Nobody got time for that weird ass shit. Nobody got time. Somebody can have Virgo in their chart, Libra. But the, four, the, the Knight of Pentacles is like somebody being conservative or like really closed off. Okay, this is somebody too that you, they want you to be patient with them. Somebody here is not awakened or I feel like whoever this is, they overthink a lot. They're very strategic and methodical on how they move. I don't know. What's the Knight of Pentacles? It's like they appear this way. I feel like it's because they're dealing with some other shit and that's not your problem. And the the least you could do is be upfront about it. I feel like somebody here likes to play around and likes, they're very controlling. They want things to be their way. And I feel like you're not dealing with that shit. What's up? Uh, or this is why somebody's moving slow because the King of Pentacles, I mean, Knight of Pentacles is somebody that's a provider. So this person here could be given to another person. That's why they're moving so fucking slow. Taurus Moon here. What's the Knight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles? Yeah, everything is fine in the reverse. Yeah, because it's not. This third party that they with benefits off of your energy. They're competing with you about this cold-hearted ass nigga. <laughs> okay, they pissing me off. The ratchet is about to come out in me in a minute. Somebody here got a lot of responsibility. Y'all heard my stomach growl? Somebody got a lot of responsibilities or they're juggling. I feel like, honestly, this King of Swords right here in the river, I mean, not in the reverse. Uh, they're giving me reverse King of Swords energy vibes. <laughs> okay. But I feel like, um, somebody did glamour magic. They, they did something to confuse this person. I feel like now they're seeing something clear and they're releasing it. But whoever this is, somebody's like baby mother or something like that, or they they ex or something like hides about hides the fact that they're obsessed and hides the fact that they're obsessed with you. Some of y'all are seen in the public eye. You do have status. Someone here really tries to take your energy to make this man want to be with them, and I feel like it's a no. Like it's it's just. Hmm. -mm. Um, what's the four of swords? The four of cups in the reverse. You guys be seeing four, four, four. What's four of swords, four of cups in the reverse? Three of swords and the page of swords. So yeah, there's a third party. There's like an ex of someone's that's heartbroken and continuing to watch the spy to try to play mind games. Okay, Libra, Saturn. We got a Cancer, Moon. Could be another Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. That's, they got that shit in their chart somewhere, but someone here, I feel like this person now they're watching you. Whoever this man is that stuck to these hoes or whatever, this person is watching you. They're heartbroken. Okay, I feel like somebody wants to be direct or speak up about something, like be communicative, tell the truth about a third party or whatever the fuck they've been doing because you're now moving out of a stalemate. Four of cups in the reverse. Something is moving forward for you. And I feel like um, someone is now thinking. They're overwhelmed. They're contemplating on how to like do something. Or this is your this is that ex, that third party that's fucked up like that because they see that you're now finally moving on, Aquarius, and you don't want to be bothered with them or whatever. So somebody's trying to figure out where you're going, who you're dating, blah, blah, blah. Shit like that. So... Somebody, I just feel like, wants peace and solitude here. It's a lot coming out for somebody. Somebody's, like, really 
something is activating in someone too. It's like they, they're getting a lot of downloads right now too. So I keep looking at the two of souls in the reverse, the magician and the high priestess. I mean, the high priest, I mean, the hierophant. Okay, the high priest, the hierophant, same shit to me. But some, something is activating within someone. Someone here could actually be like a divine masculine, but they weren't awakened to who their karmic was at the time. They, they weren't awakened at the time. I feel like something is activating with, within someone. Okay. Or you've actually manifested a real counterpart or something like that. And this person is not, but... I don't know, but, um, someone like wants to come towards you slowly or they're trying to come towards you methodically, methodically, but I feel like you've now moved out of a stalemate. It's like, you're now at peace or you're, you're too far gone. It's like, you didn't already pray your way up out of this situation. Yeah. Somebody's like sad. Somebody's like sad because, yeah, because you're moving on and shit like that. I feel like it's a little too late for somebody's ass. What's the lethal weapon here? Deadly combination, double the trouble. Child of justice in the reverse. <laughs> yeah, this is like bad karma. Libra energy. We got deadly weapon on the other side. Threatens to leave relationship in order to have the upper hand. Can be physically or mentally abusive. Asserts power physically. Yeah, somebody's in some sort of abusive connection. And with a two-faced loser that's in competition with your ass. Okay, let me read this hype, man. It says, talk themselves up to feel secure, but underneath feels very insecure about themselves. Insecure, low self-esteem. That's in competition. I feel like they're in competition with your ass here, uh, Queen of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. I really feel like that Queen of Wands is somebody else. That's a liar that, that this person is involved with. What's this uh, lethal weapon here with the justice in the reverse? So somebody is not taking accountability or they're steady lying. Okay. Somebody got too much karma attached to them. Someone could want to give you something or want to like offer you something or they're planning to try to do something. But I feel like with the justice in the reverse, they got too much shit attached to their ass. So yeah, that's why spirit has moved you away. And somebody here is sad and all that. It's like... Someone here got to get this shit up off of them. Every time this person here comes back or they, they can come back whenever the fuck they want because they allow it. Whoever they, they is. Whoever this person is... Like, I'm hungry. Why the fuck? I just had me like a good bagel before I got on here. I don't know why I'm so hungry. What's the justice in the reverse? Okay, yeah, the ace of cups in the reverse, the hermit in reverse, three of pentacles in reverse. Somebody ain't learned shit. They ain't learned nothing. They didn't learn a damn thing at all. <laughs> Literally, they ain't learned nothing. Somebody ain't changed at all. Not at all. The hermit in reverse. I feel like somebody's feeling isolated, trapped, stuck, scared. Okay. They ain't, they ain't doing no kind of shadow work. Ace of Cups in reverse is like repressed emotions, repressed feelings. Somebody getting bad karma for acting this way. Like, they acting like a damn fool. Three of Pentacles in the reverse is someone that's just like, they're lazy. They're lacking goals. They're not ambitious. They're not driven. They're not commit. They're not committal. Somebody here that just doesn't learn. They're not learning from their past mistakes. So I feel like, let me see. What's Page of Pentacles? What's Page of Pentacles? Yeah, Six of Swords. I feel like somebody's accepting a lesson and they're finally moving on. Someone here could even be moving for like a new job or some of y'all could be in school. You're studying for something. But I feel like somebody else is open and willing to learn different things with the Page of Pentacles. Like... What's the Page of Pentacles with the Six of Swords? Someone could be moving with their children, taking their children. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. So that's like moving into more stability, security. I feel like somebody's like the generational curse breaker and they're breaking this curse or they're moving somewhere. Somebody could be moving back home with their family. If that's what's needed, child, uh, do it. Okay, to get away from all this shit. But... Somebody is going towards whatever they're destined to have. Somebody could be getting into like occult knowledge or like earth magic or um, somebody could be watching Tarot to see where somebody's going. But the Page of Pentacles is definitely like a, 
Someone could be a tarot reader or someone could be studying whatever they're studying or you're studying. Hmm. And I feel like this is normally a breakup to makeup kind of thing, but somebody is not doing that shit this time. I really feel like somebody is not. They're really leaving. <laughs> okay. Hopefully. Somebody moving on to build something on a solid foundation somewhere else. That's it. Give me cards that's in alignment with the spray for Aquarius. Two, three, two on the clock. We have shunned shaman, become self-aware. Then we have you're really, you really are a special type of fucktard. <laughs> Shine your uniqueness. So we have um this deck is called the Naughty Oracle. Let's see. So it says, be your own teacher. Yeah. Be your own teacher. It says, go within yourself and find your own answers. Stop taking every word from a so-called wise one as gospel. No one else has the answers for you, so go and seek them for yourself. You know the answers. Be your own shaman, guru, god, psychic, religion, and healer. Stop wasting your time and money on the bullshitters. Know that your voice, your own inner thoughts are reliable and worthy of being acknowledged in this world. You are important and your views are also important. You are a wise one no matter what others say to you. Your wise words will suit you in your life. If you are shunned by others, then that is their choice, not yours. Exactly. Become self-aware and speak your own truth. Yeah. Yep. It says questions to ask yourself. Whose words or actions am I taking as gospel? Do I have healing to do with a religion or organization? And what can I learn about myself that would help me stop believing in false prophets and start to believe in my own values and morals? Mm. That could be, I'm looking at that Hierophant and the Magician right here. Something, somebody is very spiritual. Something is activating within someone. Someone is getting like a lot of information. But it's helping them to grow or helping you to grow or something. Yeah, so, so it says, I choose, your affirmations are, I choose to dissolve, eradicate, and transmute any and all belief systems from my whole soul and being that anyone anywhere has ever projected onto me or any that I have projected onto others in any shape, way, or form. I transmute it all into pure light source energy for the highest good of all concerned. I am wise and divinely attuned to my higher self to gain my own true inner guidance. Yeah, somebody could be going off to be very spiritual. Someone's religion is changing. Okay, like someone is changing a lot. So it says, um, be you, let your uniqueness shine. Fly your unique banner of you proudly and let your let your like-minded tribe come to you. Do not force it. Just let your shining fucktard fly and enjoy the ride. Accept who you are, that gorgeous freaking piece of unique human soul and shine. The world would be a very boring, unexciting place to live without the unique you in it. We all need to shine our own uniqueness out to the world as hiding it away is not helping anyone, including yourself. Have the strength and courage to fly your fuck tar flag and enjoy the crazy ride it will bring you and all those who are genuinely lucky to know you. So the questions to ask yourself are, am I hiding my true self? Is someone else stopping me from shining? And do I need to do things I like? Do I need to do things I like doing to find my true self again? So your affirmations are, I choose to give myself permission to shine my uniqueness out into the world around me. I know that I will always truly love myself. I am being true to myself. Yeah. There could be something that you're getting ready to work. Spirit is guiding you to work on something. This is going to be a part of this damn legacy. Yeah, whatever this is you're being called to do or work on, you need to go ahead and do it, honey. Need to go ahead and do it. Oh damn. <sighs> Car that came out is reality check. something about Ruth Chris okay angels are watching over you who had that I think uh cancer 
Yeah, supported, protected, loved, encouraged. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. So you have Sag in your chart here. Aquarius with the number 14 showing. Some of y'all could definitely be like stressed or there's just a lot going on. Or some of you guys are having some sort of creative blockage. Because I see papers balled up and you can't really think straight. It looks like she's struggling with something. She's stressed. Some of y'all got a lot on your plate here. So it says, open your heart to love, vulnerability, forgiveness, allowing, and community. We have Zedekiel, destiny, pride, conscience, and forgiveness. Yeah, somebody here, I feel like somebody does want your forgiveness. There's going to be maybe a shocking apology with the page of cups in the tower. Okay, like, I don't know. But somebody's in, like, deep regret about some shit that they did. So it says, open your heart to love. Your aura is expanded, and this is important when it comes to attracting new relationships or taking current relationships to the next level. Your angels are asking you to be aware of love in all forms. Embrace your emotions and know that this level of openness can make you feel a bit vulnerable. That is normal and is actually a good sign that you have opened your heart to the opportunity for nourishing relationships in all aspects of your life. Your angels are paving the way for romantic, family, career, and friendship connections to thrive. Yeah. Mm hmm So yeah, it seems like somebody's going through like a deep awakening here is what I'm getting. Yeah, the page of cups and the tower. It's like somebody's open to becoming vulnerable or somebody's going through a shocking tower. Things are falling apart around them and this is really helping somebody's heart chakra to open. Whatever this is that's going on. So this was your reading Aquarius. I hope it resonated. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss my readings and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.